Hello YouTube. Um, long time you'll see. I'm going to say straight off, this is going to be a video response to Fringe Elements. I am very sorry to the people that I promised I would give a more in-depth biological uh, study to certain topics, GM crops and of course stem cells. I'm very sorry, I sh will get round to it. I just have been very busy with other biological stuff. Um, the reason I'm doing this response is because I absolutely cannot ignore the unscientific uh, way in which Fringe Elements has discussed the studies he's looked at. Um, he ignores a lot of stuff and I really need to address it, so straight to that. Uh, the first thing I need to address to you, dear sir, is that IQ is not a measure of potential of cognitive function. And you kept saying that, like it's it's it shows their potential, potential, potential. But enough with the potential. It's what your current cognitive function is running at, kind of kind of idea. Because um, IQ can change over your lifetime, and I don't just mean from child to adult. I mean like uh, depending on what you're doing in your own life, um, how active your brain is at the time, and it will change from test to test depending on how active you are at the time, or at least that's what it's attributed to. Say for example you're, you have a particularly difficult job that a lot, involves a lot of problem solving, you're therefore probably going to more do better at the IQ test because a lot of it is problem solving. I know there's different aspects in it, but in general a lot of the tests focus on being able to work out um, what is like this, if this is to this, what is this to this, and that's actually problem solving because it's not just remembering stuff you know, it's understanding the stuff you know and relating it to each other. So it's a lot, a lot of problem solving. Um, so yeah, because it fluctuates, it's your cognitive thing at the time. And it does change over lifetime, not child to adult throughout. Okay? So the whole kind of thing that that's what their average IQ of all black people is, it will change. And it won't just change because children get older, it will change because well, maybe one day we'll actually invest in the education of different um, minorities. Um, you also said you're not relating genetics to IQ. You were very adamant that that wasn't the thing that you were doing. But at the same time, you're talking about the different averages throughout race. And I know that you believe that races are inherently different. I've watched other of your videos. You think they're inherently different from the way you speak. Um, therefore, you don't actually believe it's not genetic you believe it is, because you believe that um, race is inherently different and it has to be genetic also. So I know you didn't want to talk about it, I know why you didn't want to talk about it, it's because it would take too long, you would have to discuss nature and nurture and compare and that would just take far too long and the point that you wanted to make was that there's microevolution going on in these races. You forget that races are mixing, especially in America, you forget that um, where races are really kind of ghettoing, staying together really tightly, um, they tend to be with under a certain income bracket, and you ignore that that affects what you learn throughout your lifetime, how active your brain is, and it's not really the level of education we're talking about, we're talking about the quality of education, and I know you would have to discuss that if you were going to discuss whether it's genetic or nurture. Um, you're also not discussing crime rates and stuff, and attendance to school because of crime rates. Attendance to school because of, um, for example, some kids work for their families when they're very, very young, um, so they don't go to school. So their brain's not very active, especially when they're doing a very mediocre job. So their IQ test will fall lower, etc. The thing that's never done in tests is about a person's own personal drive in IQ tests either. Um, because an individual can be absolutely determined to do well and to have a degree and blah blah blah. Degrees, funnily enough, don't actually indicate that you're educated at all. People can go to the library and learn and become very, very, very clever people and they would probably do very well in the IQ test also. But that's individual personal drive to learn and there's very little of that, there's very little push in American and certainly Western society in general for people to educate themselves. Whereas, for example, places like Asia, there is this definite drive that education is your own responsibility, but that the um, state will also push it and help it as much as possible. 
Whereas in America, it's kind of a, you'll get the level of edu- of the quality of education that the money that that area is given can provide, and that will fluctuate depending on the people that are in charge of that state. Um, and people do think that um, certain schools that don't perform well actually get less and less money as time goes on, so they get worse, etc. None of this is discussed. I get it's probably because you wanted to make your point in a minimum amount of time, but you're still missing out far too much information, and you're giving the piece of information. You're, you're arguing well. I guess in a debate class you'd do really well, but it's just really unscientific. And you keep trying to use science like like that. You can do that in in five minutes. Um, I think as my videos have previously proven, it takes 15 minutes to explain the basics without going through every paper and giving everyone the links to every single one too. Um, so yeah, also it doesn't, the people in the study have chosen to compare black and white. They have not chosen to compare income. They have not chosen to compare other social factors um, to do with culture as well a lot of different variables within culture are hard to measure, so you'll never be able to compare them, ever. Um, so yeah, G- like go ahead and um, do another video where you actually talk about whether it's genetic or not. Um, I'd like to see what research you do and what you come up with. I know I've done very little research, I've not even looked at your sources, I'm very sorry, but I just don't have the time to do it. Maybe one day I'll argue with you and I will do it. Maybe. Um, but yeah, just try hard.